Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play it's the Saga of Darkness. We're going to be ending pretty much the entirety of Birth by Sleep's uh, section, segment of the game, or this, uh, the uh, franchise today. Um, I may have one extra set to do, all depends on time frame, so we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> no, there's going to be one extra set after this. Um, I'm going to mention this also, afterwards... This is going to be the case with all of the Kingdom Hearts games. Um, after I finish the game, I will do a video dedicated to the uh, secret reports that we get throughout the course of the games. Uh, this way we can have the full story there. I may even do a what we know so far type of thing. Because this is supposed to be a series for people new to the franchise or people who want to see the game in a chronological order. So, it should be fun. Now, off screen with Terra. All I did was get all the treasures and get all the stickers. So here is the sticker. Uh, all right, yeah. If you place the stickers in around this position, you should get 140, which will unlock the Rhythm Mixer, as well as all the other abilities. Rhythm Mixer is a special um, command style, so kind of cool. All right. Um, I didn't do much else off screen. I did not get the ultimate weapon this playthrough. I will probably do it in future Kingdom Hearts games. Strictly because I thought it'd be a nice poetic type deal to use the Keyblades that they have for the uh, <clears throat> final boss fight. Have, have them use their ultimate quote-unquote Keyblades. So that's kind of cool to me. Also, as a quick heads up, I will probably not do all hidden bosses in all the Kingdom Hearts games. I'm going to stick strictly to the uh, story canonical ones. If you would like to see a specific boss fight done, feel free to leave a comment saying, hey, would you try doing this one? And I'll give it a shot. If I can't beat them, you won't see the video, but if I do, I'll show you how I did and stuff like that. I will probably make a guide for a special, special hidden boss, just because there's a cheese way to beat him. So yeah. Um, what did I do with D-Links? Oh, I didn't even finish Peter Pan. Zack is the only one I recommend having once you master it, just because he's pretty brutal. And those are my abilities. I decided to do a theme for each of the characters, based off their personality and stuff like that. So we have Terra, who is a mixture between dark and physical, so we have physical attacks plus the dark variants. So I thought that was kind of cool. And that is about it, so let's go do this. Ooh, boy. All those key ones. Let's go! I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped Zayn or do it. <laughs> the master, he tried to hurt Ben. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. I went astray. But no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? 
Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Vanitas to fight. Make some kind of keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys, I... I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, all right? I'll always find a way. I'm asking you, as a friend. Just... put an end to me. Lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, keyblades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade!
admirably done. I knew this was a journey you could make. Over the unseen wall that divides darkness and light. And I was not wrong! My friend, Ven. You tell me, Sayonard. What did you do to him? Why, I did him a favor and freed the darkness inside him. Alas, your adventures never had the fortitude for such strenuous trials. Sayonard! Alright, time to fight the old man. Alright, before we go on, a uh, quick heads up about what we just saw, kind of. The heart-shaped moon. That is Kingdom Hearts in a kind of way. Like I said a while ago, we don't really know what Kingdom Hearts is. Then again, neither do they. <laughs> it's believed to be the heart of all worlds, that type of a thing. But from what I've seen, there are actually three different types of Kingdom Hearts that we can come across. There's the Kingdom Hearts made up of many hearts, the Kingdom Hearts made up of a world's heart, and then the true Kingdom Hearts. I'm not really sure what that is. It's probably just the Kingdom Hearts of that world, of where we're at. Or actually, it's probably the Kingdom Hearts of many hearts because of the uh, graveyard around us. Too slow. Yeah. Too slow. Ow! Do they have Darth Green? Come here, you. I know you. Gotcha. Too slow. There's no escape. Oh boy. Here I go. Ow. You're gonna get. Go! Oh! Uh -huh. Ow. Bam! Let's go slow. Alright, there goes Venetus. Go take what Ventus owes you, and take Aqua's life. See how powerless you are to save them. Savor that rage and despair. Let it empower you. You will pay, Xehanort. Was my master? No. My father, Eric, is not enough for you. Leave my friends alone! Yes, boy, that's it. More! Let your whole heart blacken with anger! Oh boy! I like how this also subtly showed how strong Master Xehanort actually is. He held back Terra with one hand. I'll blow you up. Feel the darkness. Teleport away, Nancy. Ain't it. Again. Bam. Nope. Messinger also has a lot of dark based spells. Like you see his, his Dark Lazaga, he did Dark Fidaga earlier. I don't think he has Dark Fidaga though, which is kind of cool. We have a spell he doesn't. Bam. 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 A lot of that. Bam. You're done. Fish him off. Only now have I truly won. There's a post-game stuff we can do, which is why we got maximum HP boost. Oh, there. 
You see? <laughs> the key blade has been forged! Then! And now, Terra, it is time for the final union! What? At last, our moment is here. Out with the old and brittle vessel, and in with the younger, stronger, new one. I swore I would survive, and be there to see what awaited beyond the Keyblade War. And now, it is your darkness that shall be the arc that sustains me! This heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness, and also end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. submits your heart succumbs so why does your mind resist okay so basic explanation of what's going on here wait till you there we go okay so White hair and yellow eyes. These are the uh, signs of someone who has been corrupted by darkness, or submitted to darkness, pretty much. Well, the yellow eyes mostly, the white hair is something else. Um, that's mostly a Xehanort thing. <clears throat> um, because we saw him as a kid, he had white hair back then. But the yellow eyes is a sign that you've been influenced by darkness. So, or you've given over to darkness. So that's kind of uh, what we see here. As for what's going on here specifically, there are three stages, or three parts of a human, or four technically. There's the heart, which we saw as they don't remove, the mind, which is currently animating T Terra's armor, and then the body, which Xehanort's inside of. So that's what we see here. Just the three, one part separate from the rest. His willpower, his Terra's sheer willpower, is what's uh, keeping. His armor alive and allowing it to attack. Let's go. You have lost. That was Geo Impact. <laughs> you have lost. Yeah, he's a uh, pretty, pretty powerful. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Get a shotgun, I remember. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Get away. Demolition. He's actually using our finisher commands, too. Alright, let's try this. Bam, point blank. Oh, 
You mother... You Stiraga! Hey, he's also using Arcelarum, too. Hey, do your dance. I'm just gonna fist my giant Keyblade Cannon. Why, why are you just in there? Oh, you just crap you. It's bamping around. Nope. Oh, almost. But I got the full one. I could have finished him off with it. I'm gonna finish him off with it. Just because. He's actually using his, his own version of it too. Aha! Uh -huh. FYI, I will probably pause during a cutscene as well to explain something kind of cool. Oh, you gave me 11. Cool. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to pause here to explain this. The reason why there's a cape. Birth by Sleep was announced like all the other Kingdom Hearts games were. In a secret uh, post-game video that you can unlock by beating the game on critical mode. Or by beating it on cert with certain conditions. Um, in it, we got to see Terra, Aqua, and Ven basically do the opening in the Keyblade Graveyard with our Keyblade armor on. And capes. Originally in Birth by Sleep... The armors were also supposed to have their own capes as well. However, it was a PSP game. It had nowhere near enough power to properly uh, render the cape movement as well as everything else while fighting. So they just decided to just scrap it. Uh, you can see parts of this trailer in the opening cutscenes um, when you boot up the game. Uh, but it's really a shame that they didn't put it in with the remake. The only reason why the cape's here now is because of the Final Mix remake. So, that's why there's suddenly a cape. It's just a callback to that. But, it looks nice, honestly, it does. Aqua, then, one day, I will set this right. And that's it for Terra Story. We'll skip this to see if there's anything at the end. Nope. All right, so here's what we had. Wow, a fuse was vented seven times? Wow. Be a critical mode, report completion 80%. Enemies deep. Dang, I defeated a lot of enemies. Cast Blade? Yeah, it was. Alright, so. Um, unlike the previous Kingdom Hearts, or previous Kingdom Hearts, the previous uh, sets, I will tell you who's next in the set. 
that is going to be Ventus. The reason why I'm telling you this is because we always want Aqua to be last when beating the game. Because she has her own little side thing at the end of it. She hang on to clear day, you may find use for it later. Down the line. This is a reference to um, beating the game again on the other characters. So, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll ask Ven.